Welcome back guys, I'm Justin with the CNR Collectors Channel and uh, this is going to kick off my Cabin Fever Challenge 2022 uh, submissions. This video is going to be for my uh, Division 1 entry, uh, but first I'm going to cover uh, what the Cabin Fever Challenge is all about and um, summarize the course of fire and all that type of stuff. There are six different divisions in the challenge. Uh, the first is uh, vintage. That is pretty much your like pre-1950s um, uh, weapons. They're all unmodified and uh, you can't have anything that uh, they normally wouldn't have been issued with. Um, most of the time you're going to see uh, SKSs, Garands, uh, stuff like that. Um, your next division is Division 2, that is Modern Unlimited. Uh, modern Unlimited, uh, you're going to see a lot of ARs and uh, variants. Um, you can pretty much have anything you want on them. You can have a, a scope, a magnified optic, uh, any, anything you want on that thing uh, pretty much goes. Then you've got Division 3, which is uh, manual repeating. Uh, generally you're going to see bolt actions, but lever action and pump action are uh, also okay. Then you've got uh, Division 4, which is a uh, single shot. These are your uh, brake actions and your falling blocks. Then Division 5, muzzle loaders. And uh, Division 6, which is new to the 2022 challenge, is uh, rimfire. So what is this course of fire I'm talking about? Well. On most of the divisions, uh, let's see, Division 1, 2, 3, and 4, it is all going to be at 100 yards or 100 meters, depending on uh, your preference. And you're going to be shooting an 8-inch target. You can get these. These are the official uh, Cabin Fever Challenge targets. You can get them on the uh, Facebook or the... Uh, the website I'll throw the website down below uh, they're eight inches and you can shoot that at 100 yards and uh, the course of fire for uh, division one through let's see the one through four is going to be uh, five shots standing five shots kneeling five shots prone and five shots sitting uh, you have to do reloads in, in between positions. So pretty much you start out with five, you shoot five, reload five, and you just keep going and going and going. So now the only two divisions that are different from this course is uh, division five, which is muzzle loaders. Muzzle loader still uses the eight inch target, but uh, it's shot at 50 yards or 50 meters. And uh, just for the sake of time, uh, there's only one shot per position. The new entry, which is Division 6, uses a smaller 4-inch target, also at 50 yards or 50 meters. And um, this will revert back to the 5 shots reload, 5 shots reload through all four positions. So the way you score it is outlined on most of the targets, I believe. So you're going to see hits on target times five divided by time in seconds. And this is going to give you like point whatever, let's say five zero. Then you're going to multiply that by 100 and then you'll get 50 as your score. That's just an example. Um, if you go to the website again, you're going to find uh, examples of uh, past scores, and um, that kind of sets the bar for where you may or may not want to be. Uh, Rifle Chair, the YouTuber that puts this on, he has also put together a very good video on the uh, course and um, how you may or may not be able to take advantage of. Uh, shooting faster and missing slightly more or shooting slower and uh, getting all those hits. There's definitely a strategy to it. I can't say that I figured it all out yet. 
All right, so there you go. I won't hit you with anything else. Um, but I will ask, if you guys are going to get it done, get it done before the 31st. Follow the rules on the page. There is, uh, it's, it's very well uh, documented, pretty easy to figure out. So without further ado, let's talk about my Division I entry. My Soviet SKS. Now, all I've done with this rifle is um, zero it prior to this. Uh, fire 7.62 by 39, and uh, I was using Romanian steel case surplus. Here you go. Here is my Division One vintage entry.